My name is Jean-Jérôme and I'm part of the i2 support team. Today, I will show you how to use the snapshot function in an Excel book. The snapshot function can be found on the publish tab. It's here, text snapshots. And you see that if I leave my mouse on the text snapshot function, I have a small tooltip which explains what's the use of this function. Basically, the use of this function, it's, it will allow you to take different pictures or snapshots of a chart and it will be used to show the evolution of the analysis of a chart. So let me show you how it's working. Here, I'm connected to an IBES database with fake data. And so I've got this person here on the chart. I want to take a picture or a snapshot of this initial chart. So I go on Take Snapshot, I click, and I click on Capture. Here I can define a name, for example, I will say Start with Xavier Vallée, and I click on OK. Now I want to expand, I double click, and I have this information. I want to take a picture or a snapshot of this new chart. So I click on Take Snapshot, I click on Capture and I can write Expand. Okay. Now what I can do, for example, is I can change the layout to put all the people on one side. Like this and the other item and the other items on the diff on the, this part here. And I want to save this new chart. So I, got, I click on Take Snapshot, Capture, Layout, and OK. Now I want to expand on, on this event. So I click on Double Click, and I've got this. I take another snapshot, Take snapshot, capture, expand on event, and OK. So now you have here a button, next snapshot. If I click here, I'm coming back to the first initial snapshot or picture. I can click on next snapshot. This is snapshot number two. Next one, you see the layout was kept. And the last one. And of course, I can continue to expand or to add new things and so on and take pictures. Now, let's say, for example, I want to go back to this chart here and I want to change a little the layout. I can just change layout like this, for example, I want to take, I want to do this, and I just want to replace the initial snapshot with this one. So if I click on Take Snapshot, you see this is the same with different layout, and I can click on Recapture. If I click on Recapture, it will replace the previous snapshot by this one here. So I click on Recapture, and OK. And now I can do like this and like this. So what's important is that if you delete one item at one step of the uh, snapshots, it will be deleted on all the snapshots. So for example, if I go back to here to uh, the first or the, sorry, the second snapshot, here you've got uh, a mail, okay? If I delete this mail, and I click on Next Snapshot, you see that this mail is now gone because the entities and links which are deleted in one of the snapshots are deleted on all the snapshots. So what you should do instead of deleting an entity is to hide an entity or a link. If you hide it, it will still be available for the other snapshots. And now if I go back to Text Snapshot, you see you have one option which is export to PowerPoint. This function 
will generate a PowerPoint file, so a PPT file, which will have the, all the snapshots which are here. So for example, if I click on export to PowerPoint, it will ask me for a name, test snapshot. I click on save and I can open the PowerPoint file. So let's do it. Okay. Okay, so you see you have four slides and the first one, second one, third and fourth. So it's a very useful tool because it will allow you to generate PowerPoint files that will show the evolution of your analysis on one on in fact one anisobook chart, but it's like if you if you had different anisobook charts on just one chart. I hope this presentation of the snapshot function was clear and it will allow you to use the function on your job. Thank you. Bye-bye.